let's do some more of that Motown bass playing. Everybody loves that Motown stuff. Me too. Today we're going to work out of this book here, our uh, What Makes Motown Bass Motown. And the song I'm going to teach is uh, number song number 42 in here. It's pretty straight ahead. I just wrote a little tune with an A section, a B section. And the phrases and licks I chose are classic Jamerson language. It's like a two-part song. Let me teach you the line, then we'll play it with the play along and groove in, you know, in time. Now, don't worry if you say, I didn't quite get that. It's not perfect. Well, once you get the groove going, just repetition over and over and over. That's how you make it sound good. That's how you learn it. You need to learn while you're playing. Not so much a, a cerebral game as it is a physical muscle memory game. Okay, cool. And I got my trusty mutes in here. Get that little Motown sound. So here's the first lick. First two measures. Three, four. Second two measures, the first half's the same, second one's different. It's got that classic Jamerson, that like, so a little run-up he does. Here's that phrase, two measures, three, four. how many times that happens but now let's go to the bridge section that's a different one up here on your a flat three four that's it let's loop it a bunch three four Screw myself up. Here we go. There we go. Then back to the other groove. Let's do that again. I really got a little shake of it. I'm thinking about what I want to tell you. This is the last phrase, which is the same as the first. Cool. Um, all I really wanted to talk about was sometimes this hand position is hard for you. I play one finger per fret. Some people play like this. And that's fine, however you want to do it. But I do this one finger per fret because I work for economy of motion. This little lick here, if, I'm, if I don't have my finger spread out, I have to sort of shift to it. Some people are doing this. Nah, this works best, I think. Or at least it's, it works for me and it's a real good relaxed economy of motion. Uh, same with this one. Notice how my hand is, uh, is already positioned where I can reach those notes. So I recommend you work on some uh, uh, just you know, one finger per fret. If you're really not good at that, go back and pick some of the videos where I talk about technique and work that out. Let's go to that little play along now. So we got a groove going and we'll work this song over and over. Okay, let's go to that video now. 